Compose is a wonderful technology and some say it's even more than just a UI framework. But did you know that Skia or Skiko, the Kotlin bindings for Skia, which is the technology driving Compose, can be used outside of Compose as well? I recently fell in love with Skiko and I used it to build some high performance image processing. And I think you might have fun with it as well. Let's start with an empty Kotlin project. Using Skiko requires two dependencies. The Skiku AWT and the platform dependent AWT runtime. Yes, Caleb's IO shows us that we might want to copy paste the snippet to automatically get the platform, but this is just a YouTube video, so let's keep it simple and just add the macOS dependency for now. Here's what we are trying to build. Let's build a screenshot comparison tool. We can produce two screenshots from the Kotlin Conf app. Let's just change the speaker's name's typography for now. We have two screenshots, a before and after, and we would like to build a tool which identifies all parts of the image which are different, and we want this to be effin fast, right? We create an image compare Kotlin file and quickly define a run task to execute our code. It's easy to read the before and after resources, but let me show you how to create a Skia image. We first create a codec from a byte array. We can allocate a new bitmap with the width and height of our image. The N32 part, by the way, is a default color format which stores the pixel values as BGRA888. We can read the pixels into the bitmap and then wrap the bitmap as an image. If we provide an additional conversion function from image to Java's buffered image, then we have a convenient tool for viewing images in IntelliJ. But how can we now use this to our advantage for high performance computations? Let me show you how we could use a shader to compare these images efficiently. We create a new compare function, taking both images as input parameters, returning our comparison image. A shader has to be written in a special shader language called GLSL or Skia using a dialect called SKSL, Skia shader language. Our input images will be passed through as shaders themselves. We declare them using the uniform keyword, making them available for each computation step. We then have to declare our shader main function, which gets the coordinate for each given pixel it should compute. In our simple case, we can get the color value of our first image at the given coordinates and the color value of our second image. And then we can just return the absolute difference of each of those colors of each channel. In order to create our diff image, we can use the runtime shader builder and use the runtime effect make for shader to compile our shader code. We then provide the input images, create a result bitmap and allocate the pixels. We add the shader to a paint object and draw it to a canvas, then returning the bitmap. Let's call our method and look at the results. And as expected, we see exactly those parts of the screenshot which differ. This concept can be extended to many cases, if it's edge detection, using custom kernels or any other algorithm. If you want to use it to build fancy effects in your apps, then maybe you want to check out this blog post, Is it Vaporwave, from Maya. Hope you enjoy Skiku and as always, have fun with Kotlin.